Kelly Campbell, Jackie Roussel, and Eddie and Angela Kotlick, who all got five enrollments for Fiji from April Woo! 27th to May 10th. And if there's anybody on the call we forgot, <laughs> please speak up. But way to go, ladies and gentlemen. That's so awesome. You are kickstarting yourself so to Fiji. There were Yay. 42 so, people in the mountain region. Oh, and we had eight. <laughs> Bam. Wait, what did you say? 42, 42 people what? We had eight. There were 42 people 42 who made people it that... in the mountain region, and eight are, are on our calls and with us. So that's Woo! pretty cool. Isn't that really cool? Yay. Doesn't that make you excited? Um, one of the things I wanted to show you guys, does everybody know how to print out your Facebook friends list? I'm, I'm going to share my May screen. May I ask you a question about you that? How to yeah. I went to Kelly? print my Facebook list out. Yes. I went to print my Facebook friends list out and it was printing like five or 10 names, maybe like five, five to eight names per page. And it was going to take hundreds of pages, it seemed. Is there an easier way to do that? Well, you can, you can copy and paste it right into an Excel spreadsheet on your computer and have it digitally. So in other words, you've got it on your computer and then you can message people on your phone as you're looking on a computer. You can al also alphabetize it by first name so you can find the people in the list easier. And I would recommend you do it by first name because how many people do you really know their last names, right? So, and then you can, it'll give you the date that you friend requested them. And then you can actually put notes in the columns in, um, in Excel, you can put notes and on when you last contacted them and, and what the last, um, what the last bit of information is with them to make it easier. And then the idea is I'll share my screen. I'll show you if you don't know how to do it, how to do it. Some people, if you have a lot of friends, it's going to take, sometimes it takes uh, Facebook a couple of days to, to give you a download and other people who have less friends can get it in an hour or two or fairly soon. So um, it's not something we'd be waiting for tonight probably, but I wanted to show you because People always go, why? Well, I, I don't know, who do I, con I have no one to contact. Oh my gosh, yes you do. You have hundreds of Facebook friends and I guarantee you there are people on there that you have not spoken to or connected with. And it's not that they're not interested, it's just that only so many people will, sh will see your Facebook post and the rest of your friends don't. So as you're going and contacting these people in your Facebook list, when you do go live the next time, because you have sent them out a message and you've communicated with them, they will be the group of people that see your Facebook live. So that will start to change things so that when you do a post or something, you're going to see more of those people that you've reached out to. So just to jump in here. I'm going to um, share my screen and pull up my um, Facebook. Okay, so where you get to this information here um, is, I'm going to backtrack. You're going to click on your name at the top with your picture, okay? Then you are going to click the three little lines right there by activity and it's timeline settings. So then you click on timeline settings. Then you're going to go to your Facebook information. And first, you know what, before I do that, 
I noticed, and I've heard of team members having problems with all of a sudden they go and post on their Facebook and their Facebook was unknown, unknowns to them was changed from uh, uh, public to only friends. So you want to make sure that you check these settings in Facebook if you are doing uh, posts. You see this, who can see your future posts? You want that to say public. Um, that's so important. It happened to me. I went to do a post and I check, I always check and it had changed. It had reverted back to only my friends and I never changed it. So that's something that's happening that you guys need to be aware of and just double check that if, especially if you notice you've done a few posts and you're just not getting the same engagement. Um, you also want to have who can send you friend requests, everyone. Who can see your friends list, only me. This is to protect you as you start to make more friends that that other network marketers can't see your friends list and start to mine and contact your people. It's a way of protecting you. And then who can who can look up using the email address you follow everyone who can look up using the phone number you provided everyone. Do you want search engines outside of Facebook to link to your profile? Yes. So those are just some, the most important settings. And then under ads, if you do sponsored ads, um, really quick, I wanna make sure you have these. Oh, it says my internet connection is unstable. Am I frozen? Here we go. So ads based on data from partners allowed, ads based on your activity on Facebook company products allowed, ads that include your social actions, no one. This is so if you do a sponsored ad, all your friends don't see you doing sponsored ads. And why that's important is it keeps your privacy. And if you have other friends that are network marketers and other companies, they're not, you're not training them how to do what you do and now they're competing against your ads. So it's just a little way to protect yourself. So I'm, I'm going off track here, but I wanted to make sure you guys had the, the right settings. So if you go back here and it says your Facebook information, click on it. Okay. And then do you see download your information, download a copy of your information to keep or to transfer to another service. You're going to hit view. Now what you're going to do is you're going to uncheck everything but friends. Okay. Because you don't, you don't need all of this stuff. So we're only wanting to download our friends list. So you literally have to uncheck each one. Like so. And then you're going to click create file. I'm not going to click it right now because I've already done it today. I was showing somebody else. So you click create file. Then they will let you know when it's available. And I believe here it is. So mine wasn't available. I did this morning and it became available at this time. So then you just hit download. Um, you must enter your security password. Okay, great. I don't know my, my Facebook password anymore. Hang on, let me look it up. I change it and it's a good thing to change your Facebook password every month because that is one of the ways that you can get hacked by not changing your password. Let's see if this works.
So here it is down here in a zip file that's downloading. Let's see if it's ready to open. There you go. So now what you're going to do is you're going to open up this list and you're going to, I think it's the friends. Okay, so here is your friends list and it'll give you the date and time you became their friend. So what you can do is you can um, control A, which is select all, and then you can right click copy, and then you can open up Excel. Let's see if it'll do this. Come on. And then you can paste it right into Excel and um, you may have to play with it a little bit to, to put it in the format that you want. Let's see. Um, And then you can literally just paste it in. So there you go. And then save it. You do file save as and save it to your computer and you're good to go. So now you have a gazillion people that you can contact from Facebook. And on and an Excel spreadsheet and you can you can um, in Excel, you can uh, pri uh, prioritize you can output it uh, alphabetical order by first name and what have you. Um, so that is, that's printing out your Facebook friends list. So make sure you do that and start contacting so many every day, put it on your to-do list as just like you wish people a happy birthday, say, I'm going to be sure to reach out and talk to 10 of my existing Facebook friends. If you do that every single day, just reach out and say, Hey, how's it going? You know, I, I noticed we've been friends since 2010 and I'm embarrassed to say I haven't reached out before with you. If you notice, you've never spoken to them and reach out to them and find out how they're doing, what they're doing. Just get to know them. Um, I like to be very direct um, and in that I go, you know, I start the conversation and then I'll go, um, are you, are you looking chance to lose weight or feel better or get more energy or or do you know of anybody who might be looking for a job because our company is hiring <laughs> and then it starts that conversation and if they don't if they don't maybe they can refer you somebody and I always ask for referrals and one of the things I wanted to do tonight is actually have you guys go out and connect with uh, 10 of your Facebook friends and start initializing a conversation with them and ask them for a referral. Um, you can also do this, you know, who's really great to get referrals from is your existing happy clients that are not interested in the business because they love the product and maybe they're never going to be doing the business, but you can ask them for a referral 
You can also ask them if they would mind posting something on their wall for you so that it can help you generate leads. And who knows, maybe, um, maybe if you talk to them and you, from coming from them, just asking them if they want to do the business, no. But then all of a sudden, you ask them to do this post on their wall for you for referrals, it can end up turning into, okay, you know what? You had four people on, your at, on just one post that I asked you to post who were interested. Um, would you mind sticking them into our product page? Or you can go out and friend them and you can put them in your project page. Yeah. But you know what? Now I guarantee you that whether they're a happy product user or not, they're going to get interested in, be in the business because they're like, oh my gosh, I just did like a two second post and I already have four of my friends interested and I could make commission off that and get my products paid for when they start to see the lead generation right out of the bat, even if they're not interested in the business, I have had lots of people get interested in the business based on that. So that's something um, that we wanted to, to talk about tonight and have you guys do. So um, I don't know if you want me to come up with a, a quick script, but I would just reach out and say, hey, I wanted to reach out to you how you are faring through the, quant the quarantine. Um, I noticed we've been friends for a while and we haven't spoken or whatever. You want to personalize it to them. I'm not a big fan of scripts. Um, I, I've used them in the past. I always find that if I just take a little bit of time to, to look at the messenger messages back and forth, I can usually find something great to talk to them about if I've, if I've corresponded with them that I could mention again. Like, oh, I remember your daughter was sick. How is she? Is she feeling better? Well, now you're showing you cared and you're personalizing that message to them. So let's all go right now. I want you to hit friends, all friends. And you're going to probably have to scroll down after all the, the uh, team members, the Isogenics team members. You don't need to reach out to them. Yeah, I'll lose her. <laughs> and contact and message your friend. Look at this, Malia McLaren requested to control your camera. What the heck? I don't know who that is. It might be somebody. Somebody wants to control your camera? Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Let's see. That's need... weird. Get rid of my own. Now, one of the things that you guys will find if you've had a lot of activity back and forth. Sometimes you miss messages from people where you may have asked them for a phone number and then you got busy, you didn't write them down, you forgot, and all of a sudden you go to follow up with them and their last comment to you was, yes, I'm interested, let's talk, and it's been over a month. You know, that happens, it just happens. Um, but that, then you know, wow, you're going to say, oh, wow. I had this conversation and now you can re-engage with them and possibly get them interested. The other thing is if, if you notice that um, you've had lots of conversations with someone back and forth and they just, they're really not that interested um, and, and they're obviously not somebody in your close circle, it's okay to unfriend, okay? Um, 
I have a little over 4,000 friends now, and you can only get 5,000 friends, or your Facebook is converted to a fan page, you do not want that to happen. You should try to keep your friends under like 2,500 to 3,500 range and not go over. So I have a lot of people I have to start to remove so I don't get close to going over. Um, so think about that as you're talking to them, but know that just because they are not, just they may, if they say no, it could mean not ready yet, but you'll know whether you think you should um, replace them or not. And if you're, if you're under 3000 friends, don't worry about it right now, unless of course somebody's like an absolute no. And, and feel free if you have any questions, just speak up while we're all working together.
guys, I wanted to show you, I think it was Heidi. Thank you, Heidi. But she, re she reminded me because I was looking for an app. If you don't know their time zone, like this lady's in Australia, I have no idea what time Australia is. You can click on the little world, the clock on your phone. And right down here, there's world clock and you can actually program different locations. So I have New York, Los Angeles, Dallas, and London in mind because we have a, a teammate in London, but you can add Australia, you can add wherever so that you always know what time it is there. So if you do schedule a call, you know the time. If you're new and you're just hopping on, um, if you don't know how to print out your Facebook friends list, watch the recording. And right now what we're doing is we are contacting, oh, 10, 15 of our current friends and asking them how they're doing during the quarantine, connecting with them, um, starting a conversation, which hopefully will lead to talking about isogenics. And then what I do is as I'm clicking on each one, I review past conversations so that I can find something to talk to them about. Like this lady, for example, is in Australia. How, you know, how's Australia? What are you guys doing for the quarantine? I mean, the, the whole COVID thing is a huge, um, it's an opportunity to connect with them and love on them and talk to them and um people appreciate you reaching out more now more than ever 
And then, you know, as you're talking, you know, I always find out, I go, oh, you know, what do you do? Um, what do you do for a living? Are you, are you currently able to work? And if they are, I go, oh, thank goodness. Um, I've been lucky I get a work from home. Um, I help people lose weight, feel amazing, get more energy. But the reason why our company is so busy is whey protein actually boosts your immunity by 500%. In fact, we also have this immune booster, which makes your immune system uh, respond much faster. And so we've been selling out like crazy, but I'm, I've been just, you know, working away and, and looking for people who wanted to make, who want to make money from home. And if you talk to them about it, like you're talking about it rather than to them, they'll talk to you like, oh, well, I, I might be interested, you know, that, that type of thing. And everybody's different. So you'll get a vibe about somebody and, and you talk to them differently than you would somebody else. And somebody was asking me today, do you use scripts? I, I have tried to use scripts. Um, it, they just don't work for me. Um, I, like to, I like to talk to people from the heart and every conversation is different. And all the times that I use a set script, um, it just didn't work for me personally. Some scripts do work, like if you're inviting them to an event or you know something like that, there is a time and a place for scripts. But when you're individually reaching out to people via Facebook, Mm, I like to read the past conversations, see where they're at, communicate, and that they can spot a script a mile away, in my opinion. Something else too, why I think about it, I'll just spout it out. Um, when, you, when you don't use a script and you are talking to them and you're reading their past, a past communication, if they've communicated with you, and if they haven't, if you're just asking a few questions and then answering them, they are a hundred times more likely to respond to you than ghost you if they sense it isn't a script. So the reason why a lot of people get ghosted a lot is they'll use a script all the time and it, it doesn't look like you're speaking from the heart or you know, it pays to take the time to look at their profile sometimes. It, it does because you will get, you, know, you could spend twice the amount, I'm, I'm all about volume and I used to shoot out all these scripts and pray somebody would respond to me then I'd be like, oh, they didn't respond. Like I'm getting ghosted. And, you know, it takes, a, a, it takes about eight to 15 times for them to, for you to have that communication with them. I mean, we share systems, but we're, we're selling and people don't respond right away. And it has zero to do with you and a hundred percent to do with how busy they are and what's going on in their life. So don't take that on. A lot of people go, oh, I, I messaged 10 people and no one responded. Okay, well, that's fine. That's just life. That's what this is about. It may take eight times. It may take 15 times. One of my, my uh, biggest builders, um, it was the seventh time that I reached out to her and she had ghosted me each time. Um, and the seventh time, and then finally she said, yeah, you know what? I totally am interested. I was like, oh, you just don't know. So 
um, and, and know that everything you send to them, they are reviewing. So sometimes during my follow-up, if they've ghosted me a little bit, I may go, hey, you know what? Uh, I, wanted to say, I wanted to get your opinion on this video. Um, what do you think? And then I send the video link and sometimes they'll answer, sometimes they won't, but then there comes a point where over the process of sending them several messages, now they're like, you know what? Yeah, let's chat. So it all depends on whether it's the right time. No doesn't mean no. No means not ready yet. And people's circumstances change every 30, 60, 90 days. So if, and if somebody does respond to you and says no, my question to them is always this. Would it be okay if I recontacted you in a month? Would it be okay if I recontacted you in three months or six months or even a year? Yes, I have said that where they go, oh no, I'm not even close, you know. Well, when can I contact you? When, when would be okay and get their permission and put it in the moment they tell me, it goes right into my calendar. And now what you're doing is you have to think of this as you're filling your sales pipeline so you have people that will convert immediately. You have people that will convert two weeks, a month, six months, a year, two years. It doesn't matter. You're filling this big pipeline. And every time you post in your group and every time you comment on somebody else's post in the group, um, every time you fill up your Facebook stories, which you should be every day. And the first picture I would have a before and after um, you fill up your stories every day because those are public. Um, so anyone can see people who aren't even your friend will go, oh my gosh, what is this? Well, I, I'm interested. I need to lose weight. And every time you post on your wall, even it, it, more and more people see and there's more and more activity. And as these people are ready to convert in your pipeline, now you have a huge the longer you do isogenics, people don't realize you're building up this huge pipeline of people who have been, who have said, hey, contact me in three months or six months or two years. And you can have a continuous sales for the next year. That's what this is about. And that's what you have to think about when it comes to sales is you don't care if they enroll, don't care if they enroll. All you're doing is loving on them, sharing value, make sure they know what you do, they, you, they know what it does, they know what it's done for you, and then, and then wait for them to be ready um, and know that every conversation, no matter how small or even if it leads to isogenics, you are filling that pipeline of people and that will yield sales for the next year. So a lot of people join Isagenix and they expect, you know, things to explode overnight. It doesn't always happen that way. It does for some people if they have a huge network. But if you don't have a huge network, don't feel bad about it. Think about every no means not ready yet. Good. They're in my sales pipeline. So you don't care if they enroll. And something else I'm thinking of, the people who say, oh, I don't have enough money. Well, let me help you get the money. Those are, that's a great lead for the business. A lot of people shy away from those people. Oh, well, when should I contact you again? No, it's, oh my God, well, tell me why, why are you, why, why is, why are you under financial distress? Is it something I can help you with? Did you know that not only can I help you feel and look great, but I'll help you make some money. I will help you pay for your system. Let's go. Who do you know? Let's post this on your wall. And you start before I have trained people on sponsored ads and I've trained people on having them post posts on their wall and having them do stories and having them. I've trained them on the business before they even enrolled. <laughs> And, and what ends up happening is they get the two people 
And then they're like, oh my gosh, okay, I got my two people. Okay, well, you're going to get, let's talk to them. And they listen and you go, oh my God, they're each going to do a value pack. So you're going to get, you know, 200 for one pack, 200, the other, that's $400. Plus you're going to get 50 for becoming a consultant. So you have this much money to spend. Um, can we put it on a credit card? And if they can't put it on a credit card, um, it's up to you. I have helped people get their packs if they, um, if they've already got their two people in the money's a for sure thing for them. Um, it's sometimes if they've done the work and they really act like they wanted it, it might be a good investment into your business. You know, a lot of people don't know or don't think about this, that in traditional business, it takes maybe $2,000 a month to get started, depending upon what that business is. And you don't know when you're going to get money back on, on, on that revenue. You've got to rent a place, like a, you've got to rent a building. You have to um, advertise. So people are spending tons of money advertising to get the business in to start your business. And it only costs like $170 a month to start your own business. And you get to work from home and that money actually goes to food you were going to buy anyway and you walk them through this and it's silly there should be no there should be no um uh objection about the the 170 a month to do this as a business it's a no-brainer because they're gonna have to eat anyway and it's you know so that's how i look at it and I even got one of my teammates was um, she, I went to high school with her and she's on disability and she couldn't afford her system. And I had her working and um, there's only so much she can do, uh, but she, she pays for her and her husband to get free Isogenix products every single month. They don't pay for them. And she makes money on top of that. Um, and she's, she's, uh, was only on disability. So she had to scrape by and save. I mean, anyone could do this.
And I missed one. Holly Melissa, I think, got um, Holly Melissa Infanti. I think she also got the Fiji trip. Okay, how did everybody do? We lost some people, but not too many. Did you guys get enough uh, enough people? Oh, we had to leave. You can unmute. Woo woo. How did you do, Kelly? Had some conversations and. Um... You know, yesterday I put a little Mother's Day graphic together and sent it out to about 120 people, I think. Um, just, you know, people who were using Isogenics and had bought from me, people I touched base with before, people I just wanted to have start some conversations with. I didn't want to always, every time I reach out to them, it's always Isogenics. So I used the holidays as times to just, just splash some love on them and nothing isogenics. And then those conversations once in a while turn into, hey, I've been meaning to ask you about that health stuff you do. And um, uh, it didn't yesterday and that was perfectly fine because I just wanted to have those totally non-isogenics conversations. So today as I was going back through my list, I'm like, okay, who, who did I not hit yesterday? <laughs> and so I didn't want to turn right around the very next day. And awesome. <laughs> That's awesome. Yes, and brilliant. The the um, any topic of interest or holiday um, birthday that's awesome yeah because then they know you're genuine because you're not every time asking you're just and it felt, them. yeah it felt completely genuine because that was a concern at first i mean i didn't send it to random people i don't know i literally was reaching out to people glad that i was taking the time to touch their lives and um, and had several, even if just short, several little online conversations with people in a really fun, positive way. And uh, it, yeah, it was. I, I would have wanted to do that if I had a business or not. But certainly, it's important. You can see the parallel if you have a business too. It, it's important. So. Absolutely. Oh well, thanks for sharing. That's awesome. Annie, did you did you got some people out? Yeah, so I got some messages out, um, no responses yet, but it felt really good just to reach out to them and just um, what I did actually is I went to their wall, checked to see what their latest post was so that I can have something relatable um, to kind of be in contact with. And it just kind of free flows. The more you do it, you know, the better you get and it just puts us in action if we do it every day so we don't get off, you know, the playing field. And I think that's the biggest thing. Absolutely. Awesome. Mm -hmm. You know what, you know, one of the things I found is I had a gal that said, Oh yeah, I'm ready. And I asked her for her phone number and then forgot. She never responded. And then I see she had sent her phone number and I didn't see it because I had too many messages. Oh, ouch. <laughs> ouch. But that's why you do this. I mean, that's why you do this. So I was able yeah. to put her down for tomorrow in my notebook. But I mean, sometimes, I don't know if you just, I always look, 
But what I'll do is if like, if you, here's a little tip, let's say you're laying in bed and you're about ready to go to sleep and you read a message and the lady's like, Oh my God, call me in the morning. I'm ready to go. Here's my phone number. I have memory issues. So one of the things I do is I take a picture of my screen and then I know every morning I go look at my screenshots so that I don't miss somebody, but sometimes it still happens. I love that idea. That's a big tip. And I think we can use that across the board, you know, with, with everything, personal messages to get back, all the things. I like all that. All the things, like a second memory. Oh, yeah. <laughs> And then see this person just came, one of the people that I had just messaged and I sent him a message. Um, uh, they congratulated me on something and asked what it was and I had sent them a message. And then, oh, I see you're still, cause I hadn't communicated with them in a while. Oh, I see you're still doing the detox. How does it work? When can we chat tomorrow? <laughs> All because of uh, contacting old friends in your Facebook. Yeah, Isn't I love that. that. Cool? Yep. All these new people will pop up. And then some ladies, I, you could scroll way up and see where the conversation was and how you met them and what you talked about, and then you can re-engage the conversation with them. And then the next time you go live or you post on your Facebook, because you re-engage with all these people, those people will be the one to see. So imagine if you did even 10 friends every day and marked which ones they were, every day you did 10 new friends, and every day you post a couple of times on your Facebook wall, well, that's going to be 10 new people that, that see it's more of attraction marketing that are going to see your posts. So you imagine all the extra people that will see your posts if you do it every day. But it's about consistency, right? <laughs> anyway, well, it's seven o'clock, guys. Thanks for uh, coming on and working it. And hopefully you'll get your, if you haven't, get your Facebook, um, your Facebook friends list printed out, get it put into Excel and start communicating with everybody. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good night. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome.